And we're in. We're about to see this lighting is so bad. <laughs> it would have actually been way more clear using my phone, but I didn't want to carry my little like phone stand thing. Yeah. Oh, it's giving me the notification that I'm supposed to be Yeah, we're like 26 seconds in. Hey, I see someone in here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes, everyone's coming in now. Hi. You guys, I haven't like been in front of the camera for a hot minute, so. Hey guys. Oh my, yeah. <laughs> How have you guys been? Uh, let's talk. Where have I been? Before I get into where I've been, tell me where y'all have been. Duffy <laughs> Cordala, I'm dead. <laughs> I've missed you guys too. Wait, Kay, could you bring me my rings? I feel naked without my drip. Why do you need to put them on? They're right there, because I right here. Because I went to put Vaseline on my hands and then I forgot. Is that I'm good, you guys. I missed you guys as well. Hello. I'm actually so impressed. Oh my gosh, there's 40 people here. That's I'm so here cool. She's on YouTube live, so don't make too much noise when you come in the house. Where I have, yeah, we're gonna get to where I've been, but I'm so happy to be here. I'm just happy to be here, okay? <laughs> happy to be here <laughs> and I chose specifically to go live on YouTube because well it's a platform where I haven't been but you know the thing is I feel like I haven't fully taken a break because I've still been posting especially on TikTok so if you don't follow me on TikTok you've missed out on the vlogs there because I've been vlogging and I've been I want to say consistent enough on TikTok um, it was just much easier for me to push out like short form content because it takes way less time to edit than a whole YouTube video. <laughs> what K? What is K? That <laughs> that's where you ghosted us. I'm dead. But yeah, I get that. Like YouTube has a place. Like long form content has a place, and I miss it as well. Like I watch YouTube videos still. Like I'm more of a YouTube girly than. A TikTok girly, but then somewhere in between, I became a TikTok girly. Um, yeah, Kay and I are literally in the same house, but hey, she's a ride or die. <laughs> so yeah, and um, I was gonna say yeah, I've been consistent on TikTok. I've been posting on Instagram as well, but not so much on Instagram. Definitely TikTok though. Also. If you guys don't follow my spam account, you've definitely missed me because I post on my spam account like all the time. Do you still like my hair? You would know if you followed me on TikTok because I posted a vlog recently that had my hair literally like two to three days ago. Something like that. Wait, I was meant to be posting on my Instagram story that we are live so more people can come. Yeah, it's literally a tempo Tuesday today. Love it for me. Um, <laughs> well, yeah, guys, if you don't follow my spam account on Instagram, you should. Oh, can I actually see? Yeah, I can see because I have my contacts in. <laughs> That's a good question. Um, what am I trying to do? Get the link for the live so that we can share it. Um, did I fix my MacBook? No, hey. <laughs> oh make tem make tembo tuesday a thing definitely that's like the plan that's why i decided to go live today on a tuesday before i start posting regularly again because i'm like let's um let's catch up a little bit before i just like start throwing content your way you know like when i start posting again regularly it will make a little bit of sense why 
I haven't been posting because I've been vlogging literally the whole year. Someone on Instagram the other day was like, oh my gosh, I see you vlogging because I posted like a story of me vlogging or whatever. And I was like, the truth is I've been vlogging. I just haven't been posting. So now back to the MacBook thing. No, I didn't fix my MacBook because, well, life happens and it's expensive. But for a couple weeks there, like the vid the most recent videos on my channel, I was using Kay's laptop to edit, which is the laptop that I'm going live on. So y'all say thank you to Kay in the comments, okay? She's a real one. <laughs> but then at some point, Kay started going to work, y'all. She started going to work. <laughs> so it just, yeah, it was not working out in my favor. So yeah, if it wasn't for K, like y'all wouldn't even have had videos like a couple months ago. Hold on, I'm just about to post on my Instagram story. Two seconds. What happened? Oh, okay, K's going to edit her TikTok so she won't be in the comments, but she, she says thanks guys for thanking her. <laughs> um so yeah it's just been you know how life is just funny you know like when you say you want to do something like oh now I'm gonna be super consistent with my content like I feel like I found like a work-life balance and all of that then my laptop malfunctions I'm like okay cool I had my work laptop but it doesn't have the software that I use to edit, which is Final Cut Pro. So that's why I ended up using Kay's laptop. And after Kay started going to work, I'm like, okay, let me use CapCut on the desktop version, which is, if you guys are into like social media and editing and whatnot, CapCut is the app that a lot of people use to edit like short form content. So that's TikToks, Reels, whatever. It's like super quick. I use it for my TikToks and Reels basically. But I had no other option but to use it to edit youtube videos so i started doing that and it just was not working you guys it just wasn't working and i was like you know what screw this are you able to use your mom's or boyfriend's laptops no because they don't have macbooks <laughs> and i'm like a macbook girly and the software i use is only for macbooks unfortunately but yeah going live Okay, so I'm I'm posting my little story <laughs> of when I just started this. And my boyfriend lol. But yeah, um wait. <laughs> um so yeah, that's been that. And then finally, like I'd been saving up to get a new like a desktop computer on top of like my MacBook before my MacBook died. Like I'd been wanting like a desktop computer. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm talking about. The question is, weren't you planning on buying a new MacBook at one point? I wasn't planning on buying a new MacBook because I still had a functioning MacBook till I didn't. So while I still had my MacBook, I was planning on buying a new, like a desktop computer. And because of the release of the iPhone 15, the... Like, there was a backlog on, like, orders in general with the Apple Store. And one thing about me, I get all my Apple products straight from the Apple Store. Like, I don't I do not do plugs when it comes to Apple products because you find that from the plug, it's either the same price or even more expensive than from the Apple Store. And it's a bootleg version, so I don't do plugs. So I had to wait. Um... <laughs> I had to wait a while. At some point, I don't remember when I placed the order for the iMac, like the desktop, but it said it was only going to be delivered in October, which it was. Delivered is still in the box. <laughs> I was meant to film like an unboxing today, but that did not happen because Zesco had other plans, unfortunately. Um, he did. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much like a rundown of why I ain't been here. Well, first of all, life was just lifing, but I still managed to get some content out in between. And then when life stopped lifing, the computer situation happened. 
after the computer situation, I was just like, screw this. Bye, Alex. <laughs> um, but yeah, after the computer situation, it's just been like, it's felt like it was just one thing after another. And yeah, when I got a quote for my laptop, you guys, it was like eight five, like eight thousand five hundred kwacha. I was like, huh? That's literally halfway to a new laptop. Like I might as well save that money and just continue saving to get a new one eventually, you know. I'm so sorry about this quality chair, but we're gonna do what we gotta do. Um, but yeah. What have y'all been up to? Like, while I've been gone, tell me one interesting thing that you've done in the last month. Like, the most interesting thing. I saw another question. Um, wait, I'm, like, trying to go through the comments now. <laughs> I'm looking at Alex's comment. He's like, you once said that true agony is having pretty eyes but being blind, which is pretty accurate. <laughs> um... How did you spend your Independence Day? I was very much at home. And then I went for like a late lunch and drinks situation with my best friend, Tito. So I literally just got back and then hopped onto this. How did y'all spend your Independence Day? We need a vlog of the apartment. Guys, I have a whole series vlogged. Sorry, I keep touching my eyes. This is what I do. Like when I don't have my glasses on, I'm like, oh my God, I actually have eyes. I have eyelashes. I have, you know, anyway. Um, dun, 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 dun. Um, I thought you were in the UK. When did you get back? Yeah, I was in the UK for a solid like nine days <laughs> i got back last week yeah hey chungu i missed you too i missed you guys so much you have no idea as much as y'all were hounding me for new videos and stuff like it hurt me not to not to upload truly like that's why i couldn't fully go ghost on social media i tried to use like my creativity elsewhere in the form of short form I'm going to mention TikTok a lot. Um, yeah, but I used my energy or I put my energy into creating TikToks because I had control over that, you know? I was just like, okay, since I can't do one thing, let me not just not create because it puts me in a slump. So I still decided to create in the like in a different form, basically. What videos would you all like to see? Now that I'm almost back. <laughs> Let me know. Also, as an FYI, guys, I just posted sponsored content on Instagram. It's a, it's a um, Yango Deli ad with Roman's Pizza. So please go like, share, comment, all of that. I really appreciate it. Moving vlogs are definitely coming. Yo, get sick of me. Prepare right now to be sick of me. <laughs> Day in the life vlog, I have like four of those, I think, already. But yeah, I got you. An apartment tour if you're comfortable. I'm still, actually, I like that comment if you're comfortable because I've been like really going back and forth on whether... I want to post the apartment tour, like the empty apartment tour. If I don't, um, all of that. It's filmed, though. But, yeah, I don't know if I want to post it or not. But I filmed a lot of, like, home home content, so you see it regardless. Um, uh, a one-hour vlog. I don't know if I can give you one hour, but I can definitely give you long. <laughs> um, now that you're older, do you have any new pet peeves? Um, I'm not one. Like I'm not one who's 
had a lot of pet peeves even previously. Like I'm very like a lot of things don't bother me. That's the thing. So for something to actually bother me, it means that, you know, like the person's really messed up or the situation is really messed up. Cause a lot of things I'm just like, it's not worth my energy, you know, but now that I'm older, hmm. I'd maybe say it's a pet peeve for me when people don't follow through with what they say they'll do. Like if you said you're going to wash my car, for example, and you don't wash my car, it's like, did I even ask you to do it? No. So why did you say we're going to do it and then you don't do it? Like, what's the reason? You know? Anyway. <laughs> um, travel vlogs. Well, I gave you guys my Laura Zambezi travel vlog. So the next one from that is the UK travel vlog, which will be coming shortly. Home decor videos. Those will go up on TikTok. So I've done like, um, recently I, I filmed like a bathroom makeover situation. All like my appliance unboxings. Um, what else? like couch unboxing, like all that's like unboxing house items and stuff will be on TikTok and maybe reels for some of them. We'll see. Um, at what age did you start driving and what was the experience like? I started driving when I was 17 or 18? 18. 18. Oh, okay. says 18. So 18. <laughs> was when I started driving what was your experience like it was good I literally learned how to drive in a day because I wasn't one of those people who was like scared of the road I was just so over it like I just wanted to get it done and over with basically <laughs> um okay so more of what I should do like what videos y'all want to see yeah I see home decor a lot I got y'all a full haul of anything. Love those videos. You know, the thing with like hauls is I feel like they've low-key gone out of style on YouTube. Am I wrong? I don't know. Cause I usually watch hauls on TikTok and like YouTube shorts and reels and stuff. I rarely, very rarely see like full haul videos on YouTube anymore. I could be wrong, but yeah. So even when I, like, I have some whole videos on my TikTok. Um, let me see. It literally, like, pinned to the top of my profile. You can't even see, but that's a she in try on haul. I know I posted, yeah, take a lot unboxing. Another she and try on haul. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of like hauls and stuff on my TikTok. <laughs> um, an uncut vlog. The thing with uncut vlogs is you still have to edit them because you still have to put the content together. But there's one where I want to do like, um, I've seen it going around YouTube where it's basically like, the video title is vlogging like we're on FaceTime, which is more, a bit more chatty, a bit more raw and authentic. So I want to try to film one of those one of these days. Basically, when I catch up on what I have in my memory cards, you guys, like my memory cards are full of content that hasn't been edited or uploaded. So I need to clear them a little bit first and then I'll get to that. Um Hi, I was watching your videos from eight years ago today. Hello, you've come a long way. Honestly, I look back at some of those videos. I'm like, how cringe. But I just leave them on my channel so y'all know that I did not wake up having over 20K subscribers. I had to start from somewhere. <laughs> it's so cringy. Mm -hmm. I worry a day once we show us the apartment. See, I wish I could like pick all y'all who are literal day ones and like genuinely support me and be like, here's a group chat. Let me show you my apartment. But then there's also haters. People want to see my downfall. <laughs> so yeah, I'm still very, you know, in limbo. But I don't hide my house in my vlog. So like either way, you're going to see it and it's not big. <laughs> so yeah. 
What was I doing in the UK for nine days? I went for vacation, pretty much. <laughs> if we're keeping it a buck, I went on holiday, chow. Um, that's one of my pet peeves too. Yeah, it's so irritating, honestly, when people don't follow through with their word. Like, ah, <sighs> so annoying. I feel like holes are better suited for YouTube shorts or TikToks. Exactly how I feel currently like short form is taking over and i feel like there's certain things like you know really chill vlogs and stuff that still have a place on youtube and i think always will but there's certain things like holes and stuff that you just want it quick and straight to the point and yeah short form is a way to go for that and also it's just a matter of like yeah distinguishing you know like what what can i what would do well on YouTube and what would do well on other platforms instead of just bombarding you guys with content that you're probably not even going to watch, you know? Um, I'm your biggest fan here. Love. Sending all my love. <laughs> uh -huh. But yeah. Uh, is this a live where you can ask anything? I mean, go ahead. We're just, you know, we're chatting. We're catching up. <laughs> we can do this for nine more minutes so that it's not too long. Um, yeah. What are you doing in SA, Joyce? Out of curiosity. Audrey says, how's babe? Which babe? <laughs> I'm joking. Okay, it's like you better than me. I have some archived. I definitely have um, some archived videos as well. But a lot of them are still on the channel. Like a lot of them. I was actually going through them. When was it? Today? Earlier today or yesterday? I was like, what is on my channel? Like when people go on my channel and click like the oldest thingy tab section i'm like what do they see and i was just like oh my gosh like what is this would you do content creation as a full-time job yes i would guys working for people is not nice honestly like it's not that great what is this popping up miss k anyway so yeah i mean like with my job or whatever like my proper nine to five or whatever it's remote and that's great and all but at the end of the day it's still work like you're still in zoom meetings for you're still in zoom meetings sometimes the whole day sometimes meetings are like a whole hour long and it's just a lot. So yes, I would do content full time. That's the goal, ultimately, honestly. Like, yeah. Why was I on my phone? I got my phone to do something and then now I've forgotten. Guys, this is growing old. Like I'd be forgetting things. Like what? <laughs> um how do you cope with life's blows, child? I cry. One thing about me, I'm a cry. And I'm a kick and scream and say, I give up. <laughs> I'm joking. Actually, majority of the time these days, I laugh. I literally laugh because I'm like, if I don't laugh, I'll cry. And it's just like, what can you do? Even there's, I think when like my laptop performed first, I was like, what? And then when I got the quote for it, which was 8,500 quach, I was like, <laughs> Teehee. I literally laughed. I was like, LOL. If you don't laugh, you will cry. Honestly, I just go through it. I laugh. When I when the laughter finishes, I cry and then I move. So basically, yeah. Any major future plans? Again, if you're comfortable sharing. Not really. Still not a married woman. <laughs> um, yeah. I feel like that's the only major future plan you could really have at this age. It's like, oh, actually, no, there are a number of things you can. Well, 
That's one of the things. At my age, everyone, when are you getting married? When are you getting married? Like, no. Let release us. Release us. Uh uh. <laughs> but yeah, they can be like, oh, I've decided to go back to school for my master's. I'm getting married. I'm having a baby. I'm, you know, like all those things. I'm getting a new car. I don't know. But not nothing major right this moment. I'm taking each day as it comes, child. What happened to Tembo Tuesdays? This is us reviving them right here, right now. You're part of the revival. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. Um, what any advice on telling the guy you have a crush on how you feel even though he is way out of your league don't tell him one thing about men they will be big headed especially like I feel like you can try to you know like try to talk to him and get to know him even if he's out of your league but don't go in it talking about I like you like mm. I mean I have shot my shot before and the ship sailed naturally, but like I wouldn't approach it that way. Like I just started talking to the person normally, and then yeah. Anyway, um, when are you having your next meet and greet? Any plans for a meet and greet? I do not know, honestly. I have not thought about it in any capacity, actually. <laughs> like I, I don't know. It's just something that's not really. Like, it's not like a near future plan. I've been thinking of like other things, not a meet and greet, but I meet and greet all, all the time when I leave the house. <laughs> but yeah, like an official one, uh, not. I mean, I could lie. I can't say not anytime soon because you never know. Like a brand could reach out and say, oh, let's organize a meet and greet. And I'll be super down for that. But I don't know properly when I would have another one. Also, the thought is just really nerve wracking. Like, that's the honest truth. The first time I had it, first of all, I thought no one would show up. And then, like, a bunch of people showed up. I don't know the exact number, but a lot of people showed up. And I was literally taking pictures and talking to you guys, like, for hours. Like, the whole afternoon. It was so overwhelming, but, like, in the best way possible. It was really, really good. But yeah, I would do it again. I just have to plan it properly because yeah i wouldn't want to just do it like hap haphazardly yeah so good guys um but my love we don't know her period <laughs> any collabs we should look out for not anytime soon like collabs with like fellow youtubers and content creators or collabs like brands right. Brands? Oh, well, I have a couple. Well, I just dropped the Yango Deli one today. And then I think I have... Right now, I think I have two more brand collabs for the year. If I do my thing and sending the emails I need to send, there'll be at least four. But for now, there's two. <laughs> mm. <laughs> you guys are killing me i should do a girl talk oh my god i had asked you guys to ask me questions on instagram a while ago for a girl talk that i still haven't fi filmed to this day but i've just remembered that because of this question that's like do you think i should make the first move in class on a cute guy by smiling and sitting with him at lunch i mean yeah just like act adorable you know like <laughs> You don't want to be like a creep, just like smiling. Like he's like, hi, you're just there, like, you know, like talk, you know, but yeah, be friendly, be casual. If you can sit with him at lunch, do so. If he's with like a bunch of friends, join the, the friend group or something, you know, just ease your way into it. Can you share your saving journey when buying your first car? Also, there was another question actually that I missed out on. Something on like how do you save or teach me how to save or something like that. Um, basically, yeah, and here's another savings question. Any advice regarding savings and investments as someone in their early 20s? Um, investments, I can't really speak much on it, but... My sinuses. Um, <laughs> wait. Drink some water.
Um, with saving, what I do is, well, first of all, I separate my money. Like, obviously, I have more than one bank account, and each bank account is specific to something or used for something. So, like, in Zambia, I'm actually meant to open another account, which I've just been procrastinating on because, yeah, going to the bank is something I dread here. It's so draining. Anyway, so in Zambia, I have, like, I bank with Zanaco, so I have, like, my Zapit, and I have a current account that I use as a savings account. So with my zap it, that's my everyday swipes, like anything, every your everyday swipes, whether it's groceries, it's fuel, it's what, it's what, it's what, is like everyday swipes, it's zap it. And then the other current account that I have with Zanako um, that I use as my savings account, that's for like big purchases. So for my salary... I always like, how do I explain this? I put it into percentages. So I'm like, oh, 10% for this, 10% for this, 10% for that, 10% or however, like the different percentages, which obviously come to a hundred in the pie chart. Um, so the different percentages go into the different bank accounts. And then obviously I have my UK account. And with my UK account, I'm able to partition it into different little like pots basically so i can name a pot maybe car saving or whatever like car or moving out or whatever and these are pots i genuinely have like moving out da, da, da. so each month when i get paid or any little money that i get do you have my chips I'm, I'm joking um yeah i just put the money in there and then i don't touch it so some of these are locked savings accounts some of them aren't but i feel like I'm just disciplined enough to know that if I really want to buy a car or whatever, I should not take money out of that savings pot, you know, type of thing. It all starts with self-control, honestly. Like I spend, but I also save. Don't starve yourself of luxuries, okay? <laughs> but also don't live a life you cannot afford. So yeah, pretty much. Then with investments, the only investing... I'm doing currently is village banking and like my UK savings account earns me. So there's that, but I want to get into like stocks and government bonds and all of that. I'm just too lazy right now. Honestly, it will be like a new year situation. Cause you know how we we're all motivated in the beginning of the year. So that's probably when I'll get into all of that. But yeah, I think that's all the questions and we're at 33 minutes now. So <laughs> I think it was a good catch up session. I've talked a lot. Uh, yeah, the discipline and self-control part is so real. Yeah, because when I was saving like for a car and saving to move out, I was so strict with myself, you guys like. You know that say like when you have savings and you're constantly transferring them into your current account like I did not do that not once. And I'm being so honest like I didn't do it not once. And then people will say, "Oh, there was never a time you were broke or whatever you needed to transfer from your savings." I make sure I'm not broke. Like <laughs> that's the point. Like don't overstretch yourself to the point where your current account has nothing like, you know? And I know I'm like privileged enough to say that, but also there's people who spend money like quicker than they earn it, you know, or like Zangin as a choka, Zangin as a choka, like relax, you know. Um, Uh, bonds are easy to buy you can actually do it online by just instructing your bank best thing i did last year yeah see that like 15 minutes 20 minutes or whatever it would take me is what i'm just so lazy to do <laughs> at least right right now but i will like i definitely will because they always say especially with investing like the sooner you start the greater your return and i'm trying to um i'm trying to start like asap like wow you know, I still have some extra cash flow. <laughs> yeah.
please let us know about the process of buying bills and bonds. I definitely will once it's all like done and I go through the whole process. I shall do that. So yeah, I know there's a bit of a lag in me like talking in the comments, but I think that's it for real. Am I the only one experiencing bad network? No one else has said it, so might be. And today on um, Airtel, I don't know if you're on Airtel or MTN, but Airtel um, released a statement saying they were having trouble with like the network or whatever. And yeah, at some point, like my network completely disappeared. And I was like, what is going on? So you're probably not the only one in general. <laughs> But yeah, thanks you guys so much for showing up. You guys always show up for me and it's so beautiful to see. Even after I've been gone for so long, like, you guys, stop it, stop it. But no, don't actually stop it. But you know, it's like, it warms my heart so much. Oh my gosh, I actually just remembered something. I saw another comment that, sorry, I was trying to like talk and read. I saw another comment that was something like, oh, show us like hair maintenance vlogs or something like that. And guys, I go to the salon for my hair. Like I go to natural hair salons all the time now and my hair was recently cut. So it's like, it's pretty short. <laughs> so yeah, it would be like a journey to grow it back. But yeah, I might vlog it. I might not. We'll see. But yeah. Once again, thank you so much for joining me, for showing up as you guys always do. Y'all are so loyal. It brings tears to my eyes, literally. I love y'all and I'll hopefully see you next week, Tuesday with a new video. I'm going to panica myself to make sure I drop something. So I'll ask you guys what you want to see first because I have a lot of videos. <laughs> but yeah, thank you so, so much. Mwah. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>